Hello, it's Green Apple Spray here, back to you with another video. In today's video, I will be helping you guys with the Animal Jam Addiction. What is the Animal Jam Addiction? The Animal Jam Addiction is the constant want of getting rare, or being addicted to spike collars or other rare items. Just wanting to get rare every second of the day. This can cause people to be a little annoying, people to get on your nerve, and people to start scamming, and it's ruining Animal Jam. So here are the five top things to do instead of constantly trying to get rare. Number five. And for number five, I would say one of the funnest things to do, you know, when substitute to trying to get rare, is to do adventures. Do adventures with your buddy or something. They're there for a reason. You can have so much fun doing these adventures. Some of them are really challenging. Some of them are easy. My favorite is the Search for Greeley. But I highly suggest doing adventures. They are so fun. And collecting the prizes. You get some really good prizes from these adventures. Number four. And for number four, role-playing. Role-playing is super fun to do. You can do it with however many people you want, whatever you want. It could be good versus evil. It could be a school role-play. Or it can end up being one of these weird situations. Bites neck, no miss. Scratches face, no miss. And ends everything. Dodges everything. No, dude, you can't do that. That's not fair. And number three. And for number three, something I haven't really done before, but fun thing to do is make conspiracies. So I'm in the basement of secrets. Kind of hard to get here. Uh, you can make conspiracies like, why is there a bunny right over Greeley? Why is Greeley in the chamber of secrets? Or you can make stuff like, why is Greeley separated from the alphas? Conspiracies like this, super fun to make. Like, did... Really kill Peck. Conspiracies like this, super fun to make. Instead of spending all your time getting rare, try to come up with really creative ones that no one else has thought of. For example, I believe this armor stand is an alpha for all the invisible people or beta players that do not, do no longer play anymore. Or this candlestick is an alpha for all the candlesticks or lighting in the game. See conspiracies like this, fun to come up with. And for number two. This next one is just simply to have buddies and talk to them like they're a real person. Like, catch up with them every day. Like, invite them to have tea at your dinner or something. Like, hi, how was your day? Make sure to keep in touch. You're going to realize that this actually makes you want to play and get on is to talk to your friends or something. And you can do activities with them. There's so much to do, like parties and stuff. And you can meet more friends, like making friends. I mean, that may sound a little cheesy, but I'm, seriously, that's something you, you need to do. You can, you can give them free stuff if you want. Stay close with buddies. Have like a little group of friends, a friend group. Look, go to parties and make friends. I know that I can talk to people for hours at these things. Look at the conversations. Look at, like, people are having conversations. This is what you should be doing. Not getting worked up all over rares. Have friends. Make buddies. Keep the buddies and talk to them the other day. And I'm telling you, you could just talk to someone for hours, and it's really refreshing to have a friend, even if they're online. Like, look at how many buddies I have. I have 656 buddies right now. And the ones that are active, usually I talk to them. Like, I catch up with them, and it consumes my day. Like, I'm addicted to Animal Jam. I spend too much time on this. My parents get so mad that I just waste a day. Because I talk to people. Like, I have so much fun catching up with my friends. Highly suggest it, guys. Come on. Be social. And now, it's time for number one. This is the best thing to do besides spending your time getting rare. Is creating a YouTube channel, guys. I don't... I can't express enough how much fun I've had with this. And I can make tutorials to help you go through everything. But this has been so fun for me. And this is the only reason why I still play Animal Jam. I would have quit a lot earlier if it hadn't been for this YouTube channel. And for all my subscribers, I love all of you. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope this video was helpful for you getting rid of your need for rares addiction. We all have this addiction, guys. 
We all want to be rare, the rarest person in Jamal. But Animal Jam isn't all about rares, guys. Find something else to do, a hobby in the game, to keep this game going and keep it fun and not as toxic. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I will see you next time that I post.